Hey, Phil Gajowski, BoatRx. Uh, we wanted to make this video because we've been having a few customers ask us specifically about what type of temperatures we can achieve uh, with our DC air conditioning system in an Axpar 37. So this is another install we just finished. It's our fifth boat in the last two months uh, we put this system into. And I wanted to demonstrate on a day like today, which is in the mid-90s here in South Florida. Um, so we're using Testo Smart Probes. These are an HVAC tool. They're just a temperature and humidity monitor that uh, connects to an app via Bluetooth. We've got one here outside, and it's been sitting uh, for a little while, just right here on the windowsill in the shade. Okay, and then let me show you what we've got going on inside. We'll take a look at the temperatures. So here on the inside of the cabin, we have a second Testo Smart Probe temperature monitor. Uh, that's sitting here at the helm. And Here's our app showing the two temperatures. So the top figure, of course, is the temperature probe that's outside, sitting in the shade. It's a 95 degree day. All right, and the bottom one is, is about uh, 80 degrees, and that's the temperature inside the cabin. Now, it can be really difficult to try and express on camera what it feels like, uh, but the difference between 95 and 80 degrees is actually a really big one. So when you walk in this cabin, it's noticeably cooler and the relative humidity is a lot lower. The other thing is that we've installed these ducts in such a way that like, we have high velocity air blowing right here at the helm. Um, this air is coming out uh, at really low temperature. I'm gonna put the, the probe in the duct grill here and then we'll also demonstrate uh, what that temperature is that's blowing on here. It's, it's really quite pleasant. Um, additionally, you know, these boats do have a lot of glass but the cabin down below, where we also have an air conditioning unit, uh, can achieve really low temperatures, um, especially when we start to close things up. So uh, we want to be as straightforward as we can be about realistic temperatures. You know, today, um, this is a great example of a really hot day in Florida, and we're dropping the temperature 15 degrees, and it's really comfortable in here. So let's come back and show you that uh, grill temperature, the, the outlet temperature coming out of the, the duct grill. All right, and here's the air temperature coming out of that duct grill, the second figure there. Again, the first one is our outside temperature, and the second one is the, the high velocity air that's coming out and blowing right at the helm. So we have 49 degrees that's blowing on you. Anyway, if you have any other questions, please just give us a call. We're happy to talk about the systems, happy to explain more deeply about the power that they use, where it comes from. Um, this boat right now, we have the engines on. We're not plugged into shore power for air conditioning like this, and we're at a neutral power draw. So we could air condition the boat like this with the engines running all day long. And with the engines off, depending on how we modify and uh, monitor the power usage, what units we have on, what units we have off, we could range from a minimum of two and a half hours of runtime on battery only, no charging, up to over 10 hours. So that's that. Uh, thanks for watching.